I have no idea where Sean is. Oh my god, Sean's ready. Oh my god! Alright, so today isn't a normal day, alright? Charlotte is coming back to LA to see me. You guys know I've been with Charlotte almost coming up to like a year now, okay? Not a year yet, you guys will know when, but like it's coming up to that. And she lives in England, I live in America, in LA. You know, I am from England, so I can go back there and I do. And then we see each other. And she comes out here too. But I'm not sure, you know, how many of you watching this video might be in long distance relationships, but FaceTime each other across the world. Like we live 8,000 miles away from each other. We FaceTime across the world every day for like months at a time and I don't get to see her for months and then the time we are together it's so good we have so much fun like when we just recently went to Bali that was so sick And you know, some of you might relate to this a bit, or like a lot, or not at all. I don't know if you guys have girlfriends, if you see them every day. But I've been with Charlotte for like over half a year, but like month periods in there, we just literally haven't been with each other. We've been FaceTiming. Some of you guys who are in long distance relationships might have it where you don't see each other for longer. I have no idea. But this is just my case. And obviously, I love Charlotte so much, guys. Like, she makes me so happy. She's coming to LA today, and I'm so happy that she's finally coming back. Because she hasn't been able to. She stayed here for three months and used up her like tourist visa and since then she's been stuck in England and I've been out here and we haven't been with each other but we got the best news the other day Charlotte has her American work visa so she can come and stay out here live with me out here and we don't have to FaceTime each other from across the world for like hours a day every day some of you guys probably don't even care about this but it means so much to me that Charlotte has a visa and that we can spend loads of time together now we don't have to be separated because like she can't be here or I have so much work to do or whatever's going on and that's obviously why we get so happy when we finally see each other and we make like videos surprising each other Charlotte. And obviously, you know she's coming to LA today. She thinks that I'm gonna be waiting here at the house for her to get here in a taxi. When really, me and my friend Harry are gonna get an Uber down to LAX airport and I'm gonna wait for her to come out of the gate. She has no idea that I'm gonna be there. I'm so excited. I don't know what she's gonna, I just don't know what's gonna happen. Because she has no idea I'm gonna be there. Obviously, we're gonna be so excited. It's actually Banks' birthday today too. I need to show you guys this gift that Broslo gave to him downstairs in the theater. It is an insane piece of artwork, but I'm just gonna chill for a bit. Charlotte doesn't land for like three more hours. So yeah, I'll pick up the vlog soon. Just look at how insane this thing is, man. Bros, I made this for Banks' birthday today, guys. Make sure you wish Banks happy birthday. Look, it's like a shark with Pikachu, free Wi-Fi, everything, man. You know Banks loves Pokemon. All right, so I'm on the way right now to LAX with Harry. First of all, we're gonna stop off in Gucci, though. I've gotta get my dad, Ricky, a present. You know, it's his birthday. I'll just give that to him later in the day. Banks has done so much for me in my life and my career and just everything, like, me just getting him a small gift. It doesn't ever feel like enough that I can give back to him. And I also never know what to get Banks. It's just like, it's crazy. But he knows that I love him, man. Obviously, you know, I love Ricky. Choosing a present for him was probably the hardest thing. But like, all we really do in the house is wear sliders. So I feel like I'm just gonna get him something he actually would use. And it's just a new pair of slides. So we're gonna stop off and get that for him. But Charlotte's flight is landing early, okay? It's landing earlier than I thought. So we have to rush. We've got to quickly do this and then head straight to LAX. And because it is Ricky Banks, you know, I had to get him Gucci slides, man. That's all he's been wearing so much is just Gucci slides. So I thought I'd get him a new pair. I really hope it's big enough. I don't know his shoe size. But yeah, I'm going to go to the airport right now. Charlotte is landing actually really soon. So hopefully we don't miss her. Imagine he gets in a taxi and goes to the Faze house and is just like, you, I'm on the way. And I'm not even there yet. All right, we are at the airport now, guys. We're just pulling up. Hopefully, well, we are pretty much on time. I'm talking to my mom. She's the only one right now that knows I've had to tell somebody because they landed early. And I really hope, like I said, they don't leave the airport without without me getting there and surprising them. We're so close right now. I'm actually so nervous, guys. I'm excited, obviously, to see Charlotte. And yeah, I'm just gonna see her so soon. I don't know how Charlotte's gonna take it, that she's gonna have to sleep on the floor. So obviously, she's arrived, but I'm not leaving yet. So I'm keeping my spot on the bed. I'm gonna make a nice little spot for Charlotte. I'll break that to her later. I'll let her come here, enjoy it, and then I'll break the news to her. All right, guys, we're at the airport. No idea where Charlotte is. My family have stopped texting me. Okay, she's gonna be around here somewhere now. She's gotta wait here right now. And they should walk out of just over there. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, so we got here. Here, like we were trying to rush and everything and now we've been chilling for like 20 30 minutes literally haven't had anything where i actually just got a text all right guys they're getting off the plane right now apparently all right guys so i'm just telling charlotte right now that i can't wait to see her but i'll be waiting
waiting at the house. My messages aren't sending, so I'm gonna keep trying to resend this one. So she just knows and thinks that I'm not gonna be here at all. Even if the text somehow sends before she gets out. Yeah, you okay? So guys, I've had to text my little brother Jarvis, who you all know, my mum wasn't replying to me and I was just tripping out. So right now they took the bags, which is literally the last part, pretty much of coming out. So they're about to be here any second, man. Oh my God, Charlotte's gonna be here. All right guys, so Charlotte has literally just started replying to me. She has no idea that I've already been talking to my mum and my brother Jarvis now, who have both told me she's with her at the bags. They're gonna be coming up here real soon. We're looking over there because my brother Chandler is so tall. We're gonna see his head before anybody. And that's like a beacon for the us. The beacon. You know, when we know that they're arriving. So we're just gonna wait and chill for not much longer now and wait for Charlotte. We got a text from Jarvis saying they're coming out now. Literally just after Charlotte texts me, so they must be able to be on their phones and stuff. It says do not pass this point, but like if she doesn't make it close to me, I'm gonna have to run past this sign. Hopefully no one takes me out. Alright oh, guys, I see Jarvis, I see Jarvis, I see Jarvis, I see Chandler. I have no idea where Charlotte is. Oh, uh, your, your mum's going the other way. Your mum's going down there. Where's Charlie? Oh my god, Charlie, sorry to come with me. Wait, take, take the good you back. Little Jarvis, how are you, mate? You good? You're over there. We were on that side, we had to talk. I know. <laughs> Guys, I'm back with the. I've been waiting for Can you stop kissing him for one second? Good news or bad news? Bad news. Bad news. Bad news, bad news is, I'm not moving out of phrases. Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. you're I'm getting not. kicked out. No, I'm not. Okay, you that's are. bad news. Good news is, I made you a nice little bed next to our bed. <laughs> so you can just chill oh there. No, you sleep on the floor. I'm not. Oh, you are. I'm not. Yes, I've been you are. You sleep on the floor. You can't just turn up and just kick floor. me out. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. And you look very sweaty because you've got me so zoomed up. <laughs> <I'm> sweating, <laughs> guys, okay? Yeah, I know. I see. And I, was like, I saw how your part was like, no. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, I haven't seen her. Is that camera? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Fraser, push her out the window, push her out, get her out. We don't Shut up. Alright guys, I am back, it is the next day. That was a crazy night. Jarvis is in LA guys right now. You smashed enough likes in the last video. That he had to fly out here with Charlotte the other day. Charlotte is, is in there. Hi! Oh, get me with her, what Come on. Well, it's the morning, man. Do you think Jarvis is missing your sister out here just with me and you? Like that. Wow. I don't know, man. I mean, I've been talking to Jarvis a bit, and I just really want to find out whether this is his first crush or not. <laughs> That's a good job. No one was behind me. That would have had a really bad view. A really bad view of your right. bum. But when Jarvis comes in the day, I might even make an actual full video about this because they when it. They need to FaceTime again. Yeah, I know. They do need to FaceTime again. Why would you zoom in on me? I'm not zooming Let's in on you. No <laughs> I have no makeup on either, man. But it's official. No, it's not official yet. We just feel like Jarvis actually does have a crush, right? We're really just talking about it. I don't know if it's our fault. I think it is. Well, obviously, we, we paired them up and stuff. But Jarvis actually, I think, does have a crush, man. So I'm going to have to figure out when this kid gets here what, what his the motives four, four, one, are. One, what, is what is the 411? What's the 411? What? Yeah, of course, man. It's that one with the uh, Jonah Hill and Brad Pitt and Bradley Cooper. We're watching that tonight, Mean Girls. <laughs> Alright. Mean Girls! So you were handcuffed was you to Alyssa? What do you mean? I, yeah, well, I was just handcuffed to Alyssa. She's my dad's wife, so she's my mum. Just wait. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Mm. What do you mean, just wait? Wait, with one eye open. Get <laughs> my face! <laughs> well, stop following me. It's so cute! <laughs> Oh, your wet hair is all on me. I know. Hey, you got good eyebrows there. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, look whose chair I found. Do you know who this is? No, no, no. Do you know who this is, man? What do you mean, who? Who is that? <laughs> you need a no. I know you know who this I guy is. Oh. Wait, who wants a dog? She wants a dog so badly, I mean. No, that's actually what Alyssa got the other day, you know. Does it fit your dog? <laughs> Does it fit my hot dog? No, too small. But guys, I'm gonna have to end off this video in uh in my own chair. My very own, my very own chair. This is definitely mine. Wow. I wonder what clips have been hit. I wonder what craziness has been done on this chair by this guy here. What a great dude. 
keeps flinging her slippers, man. Yo, I swear that one just went like right next to my head. Replay that real quick, slow mo. Yeah, I'm gonna end this off right now. You really want me to go and do some Shane Dawson investigation on Jarvis and my girlfriend's little sister? Figure out what they've got going up, man, and smash a like, and I will oh, do that. Oh no, guess what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? Really good to sit down, like an interview. Ask them stuff. Yes, interviewing my little brother's crush. My video. I just saw the tile of my video. I'm going kidding, guys. Smash a like if you wanna see that, and I'll see you in my new video tomorrow. Peace out.